the African ministers, having strategized and made inputs into the proposed charter document, took into consideration the peculiar situation of each African country with a common goal to ensure that the sector is developed in the interest of the continent. If we do not reasonably manage our cultural resources and heritages, which drive you know, tourism, would end up having nothing you know, to, to market. The various articles is actually talking about creating awareness for the need to uh, reasonably exploit our tourism. Today is a great day for the tourism family in Africa because we will sign this uh, document uh, which uh, talks about durable, responsible, sustainable and inclusive tourism. You know. It is important also to emphasize that uh, this is a, a first in terms of uh, grouping all the ministers of tourism together and uh, taking a, a, an approach together into a signing of a document that would be a live document uh, for the continent itself in uh, towards the development of uh, sustainable tourism development for the continent. The document, if ratified, will not only take into consideration sustainable development of the sector but critical issues are equally taken care of in the charter document. It takes into consideration climate because it's one of our main assets when we promote destinations and uh, of course we are disposed to engage uh, for sustainable tourism. It's a, a way of um, framing also tourism uh, along with the environmental concerns so we can have sustainable tourism. To have a sustainable use and to, to pass to the coming generation too, we, all, we need to develop a sustainable utilization principle. With this endorsement by the African countries being represented at this meeting and formally to be presented to the summit, it is believed that Africa has taken its position in promoting tourism on the continent. From Marrakesh, Morocco, Anthony Fossum, NT News.